Jamie, Jamie and Misty, today is 2014, October 6th, so... Um, this is Jamie. Hi. Yeah. Hi. And this is Misty. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. they're, from, they're from the... The Zen Zook Project, and we're launching today live, so thank you for joining our broadcast. We're live from Rochester, New York, and Max and Jim from Human Colony um, have been kind enough to do this collaborative interview with us. Um, we're hoping to, I'm sure it'll be a successful launch and to move forward into the future um, with our spiritual renaissance and spiritual development and bringing more people together. Um, Missy's going to start with a quote, if that's okay, and it'll kind of lead us into um, what the Sensok, the Sensok, I say it wrong, and then we're going to have a bit about our name, the Sensok Project. This is a quote from someone named Angela Carter that we found that really seems to tie everything together. That uh, kind of very, very neat bow. A very messy thing. Kind of very neat bow. <laughs> very messy thing and a neat bow. Um, there's a theory, one I find persuasive, that the quest for knowledge is, at bottom, the search for the answer to the question, where was I before I was born? In the beginning was what? Perhaps in the beginning, there was a curious room, a room like this one, crammed with wonders, and now the room and all it contains are forbidden you, although it was made just for you, had been prepared for you since time began, and you will spend all your life trying to remember it. And with that, give me chills. Yeah. Give me chills. And that is how the Zen Zook Project was born. Um, basically, we looked, we, we, the name sounds like Sen Sok or Sen, or, but it's really pronounced, it's a German Zen. term, Zen, as in, you know, Buddhist Zen, Zen. that's how I think of it. Oh, Zen. Oh. Um, and, and that's a great play on words, because yeah. it is, it's enticing, and so we, we want to be able to play with that word, play on the concept of Zen. But Zen Zucht is the actual meaning of it, if you take it apart. It's a German word that means longing and addiction. And addiction. Addiction. Oh, longing right. and addiction. Or, um, but for a place that you don't know about. Um, like uh, a Zen Zook moment is uh, in my some of my darkest times and dark nights of the souls um, that I've had, just you know, living life. Uh, I, I just caught this fleeting piece of me almost happy that I was that devastated and um, it was a little disturbing but it went away but and then I've had moments of great success and, and great um, just milestones I've reached in my life and there's that sadness like wow that didn't satisfy or fulfill me as much as I had anticipated or expected and not because I, I didn't get enough or I needed more but there was just something missing and to me that is what Zenzook is is that you're missing home and that we're here as students of life and we're learning so those devastating moments are important to who we are and our spiritual development and that's why I think I was happy. Yeah. You know, I had that fleeting happiness <laughs> where I was like, I'm checking myself into a, a hospital, but no. But yeah. It really is. It, it, it's, a, it's this juxtaposition, this great merging between yin and yang and to be able to be incarnate physically we have this great blessing to be able to experience life with our five senses. And we keep striving for this sixth sense and this thing that we have innately and intrinsically already. And we kind of deny ourselves these pleasures of Earth and these feelings that, that we're able to experience because we are incarnated. Um, but we still have that longing for that sense of self that's greater than greater than yeah, just we know Steve or greater yeah. than Jamie. That's excellent. Um, can you tell them about what the actual project is so that they can, because some of them are new to it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, yeah. <clears throat> well, first and foremost, we are a magazine uh, that we do essays. We have. We're a writer's magazine. We're a writer's magazine. We're, we're a creative magazine. Um, I mean, to cut That's it off. Okay. Uh, Literature. We really love fiction. fiction. Creativity classic. is amazing. Yeah. We want to foster that in people. And we believe like creativity is um, the language of the soul, one of the, the primary languages of the soul. And when you write a story or you write an article and you're doing the research, it, it 
puts you in touch with fragments and, and it helps it become whole and it teaches other people as well. So we're in it uh, as an educational uh, process as well, creative and educational Everything's process. a learning moment. Everyone can be a learning right. a tool and everyone can be a teacher and everyone can learn something from someone else. Right. So we, we kind of want to make this podium, this this grove, this gathering where curiosity is encouraged and um, and fostered and tended to, um, it's very, very, very important that we recognize that and and continue to foster that because otherwise we get lost in the mundane. We get lost in these. So for you out there that are very creative and write stories and do all that stuff, this would be a nice uh, jumping board or a nice um, yeah. a area nice for you area. to check out Art. because I know a lot of you out there are very, very creative and they're looking for that kind of thought process that moves things along that creates a world of uh, whatever. Imagination. So, imagination. Yeah, imagination. You know, we want to engage a conversation with, with you. We want <laughs> to hear what you have to say. We want and to so have sure. you contribute to the spiritual discourse that is evolving right before our eyes. We see it everywhere. We're having conversations. I'm having conversation with people about near-death experiences, about aliens, about out-of-body experiences that I never thought I would have conversations well, with. What it was that we said, we want to make the paranormal. Normal. normal. So it is normal, and right. we want to take that take that negative stigma away from it. It just and, that's a and, great and thing. Really yeah. foster yeah. that. <laughs> it's a part of who we are, and and we've been in denial for so long that it's just this wonderful thing. So the the well, the, the, the Zenzep project. Eventually, we want and we want to be film too. Big yeah. Documentaries. Yeah. We'd like to have community gatherings. We really want to interview people. Um, do biographies on people that were interesting. We want to hear from you what you want to know more about. And it will yes. take that initiative to do the research and and find the people really. that you want to be hooked up with and find the people that need to learn from you as well. Um, and to get all of our messages out there, we want to transform the world in a movement of peace. Um, and show and the world right. that we're yeah. powerful without war. We're powerful without the violence that we see in the world today. And it's through our spiritual being and evolving that being into any facet and avenue that we have an uh, opportunity every, to every do, place. we're going to take it. And this is here. One of the great things about this project is as a project of connection. Uh, that's... You and Colony does the same thing. We're a project of connection also. Otherwise, we wouldn't have you here with us right now. Um, but oh, connection great. is one of the most important things that we can do right now. As a, yeah. And I like what you said about taking the uh, negative stigma out of paranormal. Or yeah, everything is that. normal. If, if you have a negative stigma to it, then it makes it, ooh, you know. But... Um, like even some people think Reiki is paranormal and it's, it's so just natural. Ener it's natural energy and everything. So yes, I like the fact that a lot of the many, a lot of the ideas from the um, east, the far east that were ancient and lost during like the dark times like the medieval periods Absolutely. and dark ages um, are coming back because they weren't really negative. Although people were frightened of them because they couldn't see where it was coming from. So um, we can see where it's coming from because we're more logical and understanding of what we understand normal is really yeah. and, what, fear, and what I spiritual think, is. So. Fear, I think, is a great, is a great <clears throat> teacher. It's a compass. If you look at what you're most afraid of, it's a compass that's pointing towards the things that you <clears throat> really Don't understand. can, grow, can right. grow can grow from. Right. Um, and, and I think the message that Jamie and I really want to push is to embrace the journey. I know that we get wrapped up in this thing and time is not real, and, and but here when we're corporeal, it is so important that we embrace the journey, we embrace this process. We're creating heaven on earth whether we just, realize it or not. Yeah. Yeah, and this is... And God, we've been, been through. Yeah. We've been through so much, and here we are. Yeah. And so I want to bring it back to human colony. Absolutely. Um, and and first, thank you. Thank both thank uh, you, you and, us and, and, and hosting us. And, 
for your viewers. We love, um, I just love the spirit here and the camaraderie. And talk about revolutionary work. Talk about provocative work. Um, working with aliens, extraterrestrials. What is the preferred term? Is it? Um, so we're getting PC down. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were writing the down. The thing is, they don't mind. They understand what we're talking about when we say aliens, PCs, extraterrestrials. They're they're not offended by any of those terms. And the reason is, is because human that's what yeah. we were. That's what we were taught to say. Yeah. And so they understand that now that. That there's been some a telepathic communication. They understand that it's not a negative thing. Although some people put a negative spin on aliens. So know? that's again but, social media. But they're not. They don't care about. They don't care about that. They just want to bring the message of peace and love and whatever they have to say to us. So, and let us know a little bit about the future so that we can understand what's coming up. So. And prep for it. Yes. So tell us about your work here at Human Colony. Um, we did an interview prior to this as well, but um, what do you find? What do you find most intriguing? What gets you motivated to keep doing this work and connecting with people out there? I think the messages and and actually the people. I love the people that we have here, uh, but the messages that come through different entities and spirits and aliens and extraterrestrials or whatever you want to call them is really important for the world. We're in an age of moving forward rapidly. Yes. We're evolving rapidly. I mean, and uh, they see that, and they want to help us with that, and we're, we're helping the world understand how to do that. So. It's really exciting. It's exciting what it we've <clears throat> uncovered in the past few years, let alone what we'll do. Yeah. Max, what do you what do you find? What motivates you to keep doing this? Because you're awesome at this, and you're <laughs> dedicated, and you're passionate, and this is your personal time. And I guess it's um, just logically the most important thing we can do, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, no we just you know. What, it's not my first project. It's my, you know, 200th. Every two months I get a new project. And <laughs> this one just keeps going. And the deeper you, deeper you dig, the more you find. Like, right. you know, starting the contact before the official contact. I guess that's what we do. I mean, everybody wants, you know, many people want to st talk to the aliens. Mm -hmm. And uh, some started before us, uh, still better. Steve Beckov is, uh, is is doing the same thing we do, and he started many years before. Steve Beckov, or Steve, who is that? Steve, Steven Beckov. Okay. B-E-C-K-O-V, just Google him. He is Steve great. Beckov. Okay. The only difference is that we do it right here, openly, with a open uh, uh -huh. hangout, so everybody can participate. Mm -hmm. And Steve, it's really hard to find his photograph. They do it behind the they, they publish much through text, but it's edited text. There is a forum, also moderated forum, because they started many years ago. At that time, it was impossible just to go open and like we do. But times change. After many changes, now we can do it, and we, I guess, the most. You can be out here and not witch hunted. That's yeah. true. Yes, like yeah. The most <laughs> the most harm we get is when you start speaking some secrets about the aliens. The aliens block our, our transmissions. We get more trouble from that. But from <laughs> so humans, they're actually the censor. They're the true the FCC. FCC. Yeah. <laughs> the galactic FCC. Yeah, yeah. But but from humans, they, I guess they they protect us, or, or the angels, or some higher forces protect us. I mean, they keep, they prevent us from growing fast. So we kind of have time to meet each other and structure. But but I think we are very very well protected. It's amazing how it is. You know, if somebody comes with trouble, in a couple of weeks they just mysteriously disappear, and we thank our helpers mm -hmm. for that, and we thank people who left us alone. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that as well. You know, it's not. You know, if you if you are if you are come to join, please join us. But if you want to argue, start your own website and argue there. It, you know, you'll find plenty of people who want to argue. I have to add something here. Our members and loyal. Followers are also very protective of us, yes. and they they get rid of a lot of the problem before we even see it. Before I even saw some of the problems, they had pushed them out of the picture. So 
Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. We're yeah, you are. Too. You are. Thank you, are. you so much. And we want to introduce. So, hey, please. Brian, please unmute yourself. Hey, Brian. Hi, hey, Brian. E, I saw your face. It was Hello, not guys. someone I met before. Hey, Brian. Greetings, everybody. Hi, Brian. Hello. Hello. Hey, Dan. Hey, Ja. Earthling. Hey, Justin. Good hey, morning. Stop. Uh, and hey, Sarah, thank you for being with us. Yes, thanks. Hello. And thanks to two viewers who are silent. I actually announced the question so people from outside of the Hangout can ask questions. And right now the questions are empty. But if I'm people outside sorry, of Hangout want to ask a question, I will once in a while look at it. And uh, mm -hmm. So please tell whatever you want. I would like to say thank you. I've been sitting here just bawling and crying and laughing at the same time. It's been so cleansing and so beautiful. Um, it, it's been so confirming because I've been like, throughout my journey, I'm like, man, I wish I had some way to tell it, but I don't know. I just, I'm not, I, I like to write, but it doesn't excite me enough. I like to, like, do art and stuff, but it doesn't excite me enough. But I don't mind being on camera and, like, people ask me questions and doing it, you know. And I have found these moments to be straight up and to be completely honest through my drug use. Um, and certain things have happened. I've literally, I know I've died at least five to nine times. I now have in this lifetime alone. Um, and I know I've come back each time. And each time it's been another lesson and another lesson. I finally have gotten to the point where... I've gotten to a point with my drug use with the one that I feel is the most destructive in my life that I literally can do it at peace and wake up the next morning or whatnot and be in a completely different shift, 180, and not go through, you know, the idea of, of like what opiates would do, you know, just break you down. And, and I've learned that instead of inflicting pain through through communication, through physical things. I was like, I'd rather hurt myself, and I'd rather okay. inflict the pain to myself and learn about myself, And because I feel I understand the world. It was me I'm trying, that I was understanding the most, learning to understand. Thank you for sharing. Oh so, yeah. so um, I think that's a very, thank you for being brave to share that with us, mm -hmm. and we definitely do video blogs, so feel free to submit anything to us or query us, but I want to speak to that. Um, it's almost like you feel like you need to protect others, so you're strong enough to go through it, to learn the lessons, to share with others. Um, is that it, it, There's strength in that. Yeah. There's great strength in that, great wisdom. And, it's, and right now, I mean, I really feel, personally, like I am ending some of those really <clears throat> destructive cycles that I've held near and dear to my heart that defined me for very, very many, 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 almost too many years. <laughs> but but it is embracing the journey. It's embracing the, the, those pinnacles, the high points and the low points, and, and being able to assimilate them together into an experience of being a whole being, a whole a whole person. And no judgment. It's, and no it's, judgment. Embracing, it's embracing your vulnerability. Yes. yes. They can't yeah. be understated. Say that again. <laughs> it's it's embracing your vulnerability. Yes. yes. Exactly true. And um, as we move forward, you, you know, I've become more of myself in the last couple of years since I've been channeling and learned Reiki and things and opened myself up to things that in my childhood would have been denied to me. Uh, so, like, they would say different beliefs have different stigmas that are attached to them. But now I'm totally more of who I am mm -hmm. now because I do not have any limitations on my belief system. So um, when that happens, you can expand internally and externally yeah. in, in many ways. No That's limitations just... on your belief system. <clears throat> Yes, there's no limitations on my Some beliefs. people just like curled up in a ball and ran away. <laughs> it's so frightening. What do you guys think um, the connection between aliens and the spiritual plane, like our spiritual helpers and our extraterrestrial helpers? Um, how do you feel about those connections? You know, I feel like there's a direct connection. It's not as zigzaggy. We're kind of, Jamie and I were talking about it. 
the path that we take is like a strand of you know, hair. hair. And we could just go boom right over the top of it, but instead we've chosen to kind of Linear take in the style. entire, you know, uh, think through as many crooked turns as we possibly could manage to uh, find for ourselves. Uh, how can we help? Right. You know, well, let's go. It. Yeah, let's go back to that question of like um, the direct connection between yeah. spirituality. And go ahead, and I have something to say too. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think that I, I suspect there is no difference at all. Like we have a big veil between us and our dreams. When we come from our dream, we know something happened there, but we we get very little glimpse. When you come from the dream, you have that tiny glimpse. You saw like a face. You saw you remember writing, but and you. And sometimes in the dream, I, I'm i talking about the dreams because I think they are much closer to our dream world than to yeah. to the logical reality as we are. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they are our collective dream or we are their collective dream, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So when I am in the dream, sometimes I, uh, how do you say, uh, exprompt, uh, um, do the poetry, just create the poetry, speak it out. And I think, oh, so it's beautiful. And then I get so excited that I wake up in a dream and listen to my poetry. And it's no good. It is just, uh, you know, poor poetry. And sometimes I just skip the words. Sometimes the rhyming is bad. So, but in a dream, it's, it's beautiful. So, so what I'm saying is, I think they are a collective dream. That's my current interpretation. But this collective dream, I know it manifests. Go on YouTube, uh, based UFO sightings of 2014. You can't deny that. Yeah. Or the, I know there are a few videos of Grays which I believe are real. I know some of them are sort of staged up, but some of them I think absolutely real. It just, it just feels so real. It just, it's much better than in in uh, science fiction movies. Uh, okay. And. Um, uh, I know in person people who have been there and they come back and you know that was, for them it was absolutely real. They have whole experience of going. I did a support group of uh, abductees, and um, I just wanted to comment. It was kind of coming all together. Um, so I love, we love to give the support. And when you have a in person support group, you know you meet every second week or every month and. You kind of provide them with, with the support, and they enrich. You know their uh, phone numbers. You can help them. But here, anybody can come. So that is like a beach in a big city, like Brighton Beach. Anybody can come. Anybody can uh, lure you into anything. So we offer you offer you advice, but it's up to you to take it and to do whatever you like with it. We our intention is best, but mm -hmm. our responsibility is for what we say and what if, if you come to us with more problems we give you more advice or we can invite others to call you and help you but you know that's how much how much we can help we cannot come to you and you know hold your hand while you're in trouble that we hold your spiritual hand but not physical mm -hmm. so it's a little different so that's my I guess disclaimer anybody can come and uh, take whatever you can take from here our intention is good but don't hurt yourself. Don't do that at home. That's my okay. message to you. My, I have a little bit of a twist on what he says. Yes. Um, I believe the different, the connection with aliens and spirit is density. Uh, like uh, physics. Yes, mm -hmm. because they are in a higher, they are in a lower density than we are, and they can understand spirit because a spirit's in also a low, lower density. But I believe the aliens have had a long time to understand what spirit is longer than we have. They're able to cross the universe and uh, do many things. That, and so they can, they actually understand the purity of spirit and understand that their connection to spirit is something that's essential for their survival in many ways because that's where they're from. That's where we're all from. Mm -hmm. We're all from a spirit. We're all from a density. Yes. Being in third density, we cannot connect to the spirit as easily as somebody from the fourth dimension or fourth density this. because that's a lighter density. So they are, they're able to connect a little bit better. 
I would like to just add that one of the features that we want to do on a regular basis is on dreamscapes and dreams because we do, I mean, I've written down my dreams, dreams are for the years. To and, and it's also where I can kind of share and be vulnerable and not be judged so much because it's just a dream, right? Uh, <laughs> but, um, and so we encourage participation in that. We're, we're getting ready to do a regular column on it. I've got some stuff of mine. Jamie's got some stuff of hers. We'd love to hear your dreams. Your dreams. So please submit them to us. Um, um, the Zenzucked Project at gmail.com yeah. with the dream. Brother, in brother the Paku, uh, beautiful with his storytelling. And along with the dreams, I've been experiencing um, cat naps and when I'm asleep, waking up and someone will... Actually, Sister Caitlin um, is was the first one I noticed. Um, she would have a dream, and then Sister Sarah as well, um, where they would tell that for their their aspect of the dream, and then after I'd read it or they, I'd hear it, I'd just get an instant download of the other side of the coin, if you will, or the or the middle of it. I was able to perceive that I was in the dream, or or I was the dream. Actually, is a better. Like, I was a part of the dream in some way, and i just been going around people's dreams lately, um, and... You're spirit walking. You're spirit walking. Spirit walking. Yeah. It's amazing how much we share as a community when, our, when we are vulnerable, and, you know, we are vulnerable when we're sleeping, and... Uh, it's, Perhaps the most awake when we're sleeping. <laughs> it's inter interesting. The last two nights, I've been... I have had very positive dream states. The first one was financial, where everything financial was oh, happening. Please, God. And then the second one was healing. The second, like last night, everything was about healing. I and, think it comes together. And um, uh, how to heal more people in different ways and how the energies are moving. And I, I remember, I don't remember exact certain things, but I remember that... One was about prosperity and one was about healing. And I know I can hardly wait to hear what tonight is about. <laughs> but uh, well, also, I can hear about it too. So yeah. share that with us. Yes, that's that's actually the dream I've been working on is just everyone being kings and queens. Every you know, everyone has everything that they need, and and you can. My idea is privilege. You know, like if you, you when you work towards something. You, you hold it to you more, you know? Mm -hmm. And instead of having things based on money, I have an idea of, like, things based on privilege where if there's things that need to be, like, worked on or rebuilt or re whatever, you know, whatever is needed, then we do things to earn pr privilege to go, you know, we have planes, we have traveling and this and that. Like, we can set up places where people can go and, show their vulnerabilities and whatever it is in a safe spot and not be judged, you know. And a, an idea that came to me that's been coming to me, it's, it's out there, but I'm going to put it is, it, it, it's just coming to me, like, just as an idea not to follow, just to look at simple existence is that we have people that are just set on choosing death for themselves. Yeah. Then we have those people that want to explore bringing death so why not create places where people can go and explore things like this in safe manners? If people want to explore, you know, the dark side of, of, of human life, then we go, the world's broken apart, so we can go put them on a little island where they can go do the thing. We'll ship them over there, you know what I mean? Or, or we'll create little sanctuaries where, you know, you know where you're at is safe and the people that you're going to be with are going to be just completely full of love and joy and just see you as that as well. Okay, you're describing a lot of what Lakesha's world is like because their world is based on privileges, learning and becoming privileged, uh, celebrating everything that's good, uh, passing on their history through lo objects of love, and um, also they're, they're when they do experiment with the dark side, it's totally a, something that they are allowed to do. They're allowed to uh, be who they are when they want to be who they are, and they have lots of celebrations and joy and happiness. So, hey, tell, tell us who Lakesha is for um, all the. Lakesha is my father. Yeah, Look, what'd you say? 
the cash is my father. That's what I just got right now. Oh, the cash is like your father. Oh, cool. Or is yeah, it? Yeah, um, my black, my tourmaline bracelet that, okay, so I had two bracelets on one hand and I had three bracelets on the other. My girlfriend and I were um, on our automatic journey to the methadone clinic mm -hmm. and I just kind of zoned out. But I did, or no, excuse me, we were taking her to her mental health clinic. And I was just in the car the entire time. And the trip was about 45 minutes. I was in the car. We get back, and I just look down at my wrist for some reason. I'm like, wait, I'm missing a bracelet. Oh, my gosh. And, and then through a couple weeks late, like, I got, a, I got a message of just, like, it was through Jim. It was through a channeling Jim, and I'm just like, I know I gave it to someone as a gift. It didn't because I looked for it, and it was nowhere. And if it would have broke off, I would have found the beads and stuff. And I finally got a message through Jim through a channeling that, ah, yes, we received, or we, we, we know the bracelet. We haven't received it yet. You have to find it. And I'm like, well, I already looked for it. And he was like, and then I got this, and I got this feeling all of a sudden in my heart. But it, was, but it wasn't like where the idea of the human heart is. It's like my heart is, is centered differently in my body now. It's like it's, it's moving its way to... Like between the third and fourth chakra is what I feel. It's 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 almost as if all my chakras are a heart chakra now. And that tourmaline bracelet, he was he said, This is your invitation to our planet. We see you as a Palladian. And I've been I've been getting messages lately that in Dream State I've been going to the Palladian planet lately. And so the cash is Palladian? Yes, he has, uh, Lakesh is one of, there's three planets that Lakesh belongs to that are the, the small blues. And um, they're, they have three planets that are nearby each other. And they're, there's four different uh, channelers now from the, the, his area. And um, they're with human colony. So. And like Yushara comes through someone through through Safira and uh, some other people, and Jean Georgi, which is Georgiana, she calls herself Georgiana. She's from the second planet, and she talks to uh, Jesse through his. Uh, oh, Jesse! Okay. Jesse. And um, <laughs> and there's uh, Kalish, who's trying to get through a few different places, Gabriel and such. And it has also come into a max. Yes. And then there's the cash. So excited about so, it. Yeah. So why don't since we're on the subject, why don't we talk about um, channeling and what that experience is like for you? Um, well, that's one of my Zenzook yeah. moments. Yeah. What is <laughs> your Zenzook moment? My the two most recent ones were finding Reiki and learning that I could be uh, learning that I could do Reiki and healing on people. That was a definitely a Zenzuk moment because it changed my perception of who I was from just a normal human being to actually I can be a healer, you know, and not I of my own superpower, <laughs> not of my own volition necessarily, but that I'm being used as a tool to be a healer. And the other was when I discovered channeling with Max because he had been surrounded by aliens and I was able to pick up on it. I never knew really what channeling was. He probably has a different perception of the story than no, I do. No, they just wanted to speak to me. They wanted to speak I to him so to bad. And so you had no channeling experience prior no, to meeting Matt. And I didn't even know right that here. channeling with aliens was possible. Well, I don't even think right, I didn't even know. But then he started started showing me Bashar, and and I was listening to Bashar after that. But it's bad. but but until I started channeling, he didn't show me any of the Bashar or anything. No. Afterwards, he's going. There is other people that do this, so he was showing me. <laughs> go research. But yeah, really. Yeah, when people did Reiki on me, I go to Reiki share. Many people do Reiki on me. And they say somebody is by you know nearby, and it looks like it is an alien. And sometimes they say it's Syrian, sometimes they said it's Pleiadian. So when Jim said there is alien, I said, all right, of course. <laughs> validating. So, you're, so that's all, also part of channeling, too, is getting that validating message. It's off in space. <laughs> so when you first, what was it like when you first channeled, um, who was your first channel? Like um, The first person I channeled was Dizdu. Yes. 
Um, we didn't know who it was. He's the captain of the ship around the North American continent from Brook Fickner. But we didn't know who was coming through at first, and his name was... Diz Yakabu Diz Duna. Yeah. Wow. Can you say one more time? Diz Yakabu Diz Duna. Da. But he, he needed... We couldn't, you know, always call him that. So he gave us... And he gave us a nickname, this do, and we forgot even that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your name again? It yeah, sounds yeah. like this dude, actually. This dude. This dude. Yes, this dude. Right. That's right. This dude, yeah. <laughs> but and he doesn't correspond to his personality. He is very diplomatic and formal. So this He's dude not a dude. Not appropriate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, not appropriate. But um, that was the first person we talked to, and he talked to him about molecules and stuff that I had no idea about. So they were talking science. And here I am going, what's going on? Because they're, I expected if they were going to talk to Max that they would send me a little message in my brain and then I would tell them what the message was. Not so. No. They just went straight through. So <laughs> So they jumped in your body, essentially. Well, they went down my chakras. Yeah. Okay. I know you don't. And don't touch it. pushed aside the thought, my thought processes, which was a little frightening at first. Okay. But you know what? They were so calming and gentle about it that I couldn't stay frightened for very long. So. Okay, so I know yeah. we've met channelers. Um, a really famous one is um, we'll give the Channeling Eric blog, um, channelingeric.com, um, a little bit of, of plug. plug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Jamie Butler, I'll also plug her too, is, is a fantastic um, channeler as well. Um, and it is, and, and I've seen uh, Madison Man channel, um, and they let they just let spirit into their body, um, and there's a relationship established. But this is like the beginning of it. Like I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know someone could get into my body, my energetic body, push my thoughts away, and I'm just kind of like, hey, I think this is a mental disorder, but you go for it. And, you know, <laughs> exactly. Right, so it does right. feel like a mental disorder right. at first. It feels like it's a little like I'm a little numbing at first, so because you're like, okay, what's going on? I right. think I described so it like I should have had a V8. I should have <laughs> had a V8. <laughs> Just a little like <laughs> what? Sideways. <laughs> um, but we we were discussing last night just some some provocative things, some interesting things. Uh, one of them was uh, we're talking about my newest career path and. Uh, one of my exit strategies, and I, I actually oh, recognized strategy. an exit strategy I have in this life, and I've chosen not to go down that particular uh, path. So tell people um, what an exit strategy is. So an, an exit strategy, the way that I, uh, we kind of see an exit strategy is that when when we're before we incarnate, we have multiple timelines that we we could could follow, and I think I believe that we pre-plan certain strategies uh, to exit the Earth plane, the three D plane. When you can't um, just say when you're just Thanks. done, and um, Thanks for the fish. And yeah, and so it really was a, a, a wonderful tug on my heartstrings, and also a great validation to myself to say I didn't choose that path, um, and now I get to experience all of this. And with its confusion and its wonderment and its joy and its pain, it's still just so valid and just oh, embrace the journey, embrace yes. that journey. Do we want to start wrapping up? Does anybody no, have questions? No, no, no. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're, going. Going. we're good on time. time. We're good. How much time do we have? Forever, all day. We have. All day. Let's get another. I have till one thirty. Yeah, let's get another. You need okay. to go for two hours fifteen minutes. So, do we want to do a quick break, like? No, no. Let's just some questions. So, yeah, Brian, uh, I didn't see. So, E <laughs> showed us her face and disappeared. Is, is it your friend E, or there is another new person which is? Oh, she's gone now. Yeah, no. E, I guess E could be. Could E be your Jane? Jane? Jen? No, we're Jen? missing no. you, Jen. We're, yeah, sorry. we're missing. Jen. All right, Jen. Yeah. All right, Come on, um, Jen. Jen, I even learned how to pronounce your last name. Yeah, surprised. please come with your <laughs> questions to the girls. Yeah, uh, everybody. Do interview of the girls. Let them speak about their project. Yeah. Ask the, ask some questions about the Zenzook project, if you will. Yeah. Because my art, my life. I have a question. Honey, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that financial thing sounds great. Yes. It's right about now. Those <laughs> are, you know, the red thing. Yeah. 
what what was it? Is it just through your experiences that moved you in this direction? What was it? The passion? Was it the curiosity? What was My it? My question. Um, I am. Um, both of us will answer this. I I started talking to God when I think I was four, and I noticed that I had some um, gifts, and throughout my life they kind of grew. But my passion has always been for people, and to see that the reason why our world, I believe this strongly, the reason why our world is so chaotic is because we are experiencing a spiritual rebirth. And that our religions are, you know, their control mechanisms based, you know, from a long time ago in cultures that didn't have the same values as us, didn't see spirituality the same way that we can experience it. Um, and that it's time. It's time to move. There's so much suffering in the world, and we can heal it. We can help people. But the things that are stopping us are stupid, bullshit things, stopping us from doing it, you know, stopping from helping the poor, stopping from helping people to move on. And, um, you know, that you're going to fail in life. I feel like we weren't raised to believe that, you know, we experience as much failure as we do in life and how essential failure is to your own success and to who you are. And that the spiritual process, regardless if you're aware of it or not, is underlying everything that you do. And the deeper I, I got into this, I'm like, people got to know. They got to know that they're eternal and that they're divine and that they're just here as students. Like, none of this crap matters. So, you know, even now, even when you're in it, like, it doesn't really matter as much as you think it does. And to embrace your eternalness, I think, frees you. If you really allow yourself the time to contemplate it either through meditation, active meditation, just brushing your teeth and say, wow, I'm eternal. Like, I'm not going to be Jamie, you know, always. Like, I, and I was someone else yesterday. I'm going to be someone else tomorrow. And um, and I'm God. What the heck does yeah. that mean? You know, we like, are, we are and, and, and that heals people and it brings us together. And then um, we can stop. And then we can see our own power in action, stopping war, stopping poverty, without using violence, with, with while being exclusive, you know, finding an economic system that isn't psychopathic and finding ways to communicate with each other uh, where we can disagree but still embrace our, our, our humanity and, and why we're here. I, that's I, my, I, that's big, her thing. my big thing. I thought that was beautiful. I, um, can, I, can I add a you little go, bit to this, your yeah. thing? Go. Okay, we've known each other for a long time. Um, I think that our, when we when both of us started to really cement this idea as adults, uh, it took defining really, oh my god, experiences that broke us both down completely mm -hmm. and, and made us uh, really question all the things that we were taught in life that were truth. It wasn't true. Lost money, friends, um, you know, because I have guests and I was exploring them and people were like, you're fucking crazy. You know, go to school, make money. That's what you're supposed to do. Sure. Jane, I mean, can you say the closet story? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Miss, you asked to tell everybody that I lived in her closet. For three months. I, did. <laughs> I was glad to have her. Um, it's, I'm so sorry. I had to say it. I had to say it. Um, I think for me, um, since I was a young, a young child. I mean, since I can remember. Um, I always said, why am I me? Why am I Misty? I always had this sense of more. Um, and I was constantly wondering why, why I incarnated into this life, into this circle, into this web, into this, it's into this time. It's it really exhausting. is. And yeah. um, I knew myself very well as a, as a young child. And I had... Um, I don't even know how old I was. I remember I used to say that I could make it rain, and I, I can, I can make it rain. I can. Just not, just. I mean, it's. But. Please don't lose that. Not now. No. no. <laughs> but but when I was young, I used to. I used. I was. I was brave when I was young, and I remember telling the the street that we lived on, some kids from the street, uh, that I could make it rain, and they had a. Uh, Catholic was meeting present. about I was me. I, th I think everyone from the entire neighborhood was all, you know, at that one all house. All the moms got together and it was literally like 
she's crazy and she practices witchcraft and we don't want her to and, and, and it was on a place called Salem Road, which was just the great, you know, one of those little, like, just <laughs> nail it in there. Salem Road. We grew Salem up on Salem Road. Salem Road. Salem like, so oh. I, I was subject to the Salem Road witch hunt and I survived it. But I did, um, I did really embrace, for a while, I embraced, uh, you know, normalcy. I kind of acted so as to society to um, and, and never felt quite like all of me was fitting in. I, Jamie and I have different strengths, and um, I always felt kind of socially awkward and uh, I don't, not at ease with myself. So things have ha have transpired in my life recently. I had a unequivocally it was a near death experience. It was almost I mean I almost died. It's hard to accept that, uh, but that changed me in so many ways because it was like I was healthy and then I woke up one day and I was 99 years old and I couldn't walk. I couldn't get to the bathroom. I was just Crippled. Got very sick. And I was crippled in my mind too. I, I was uh, unable to find the correct words for things. It became very inarticulate and that was a, a crushing blow to me as a creative individual, as a violinist, as a musician, as a writer. Um, I couldn't create. I couldn't communicate. I couldn't create. I couldn't. It was horrible. And so I went to alternative medicine, and I faced a lot of my fears. My biggest fear in, in life was needles. I used to get hysterical about needles. And now acupuncture, she's an acupuncturist. Acupuncture is what saved my life. Is what really turned me around, and it began this healing of my higher self as I began integrating the misty me into I, which I call Hugh, so maybe I'm a guy, I don't, you know, I don't know, but his name is Hugh, or my name is Hugh, my high self's name is Hugh, and um, it's just been this journey where, you know, Jamie and I have finally found synergy, like we're in this place where we're both brave enough to kind of step forward out of the cycle of stuff, we just kept cycling and repeating negative behaviors that were not fulfilling us as far as growth goes. So to step outside of the box and hold each other's hand and just say, we got this. Mm -hmm. And and Excellent. really invite others to t share this journey with us, man. Because you're awesome. doing it. Because you're on the you're journey. All, you're all yeah, on the you journey. You have incredible experience. All of us are. Yeah. There's no... And, I have, and you're all connected. All of you. Yes. All of us are connected we in are. one way or another. All of us. All of us yeah. are on the journey. Native American and they're showing me the, the spider yeah. weaving the web. The web. Who was out there who wanted to say something? Uh, Sabrina. Hello. Sabrina. Hello. <laughs> um, I have a question. Um, what would you say is your golden rule for you? An idea that helps you in your journey. Something that you um, try to always keep in mind as you proceed on this journey. I try to allow myself permission to access my authentic self and to give myself permission as a human being to be able to process these different events. I'm, I'm going to school right now to be a paramedic. I've you know, got my <laughs> hand in many bags. And I had a particularly diff difficult set of calls recently. And I was downloading all of this information. I tried to integrate it and really try to I was overwhelmed with these moments of sadness, or however you want, to, you want to put it. And I was able to kind of pan back and look at the bigger picture and integrate all of, for all of the things that I saw that were kind of uncomfortable. I could take the thank yous and the thank God you're here and you saved me. And these things, not in a savior complex kind of way, but in a way that really acknowledges our humanity and our process through this life our challenges of having a physical body because it is it's a blessing and it's a curse at the same time but it's that duality that really just keeps keeps driving me so I guess it's that constant pursuit of my authentic self and to be able to catch myself when I'm kinda of going down the, the path and say alright this is great you can acknowledge this experience and let's integrate it and move forward and how does that work for me or how, what is that showing me? What, yeah, what is that showing me? It's like the man in the mirror. It's really, really 
the man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. Wonderful. I think for me, um, it's different than, it's more focused on, I don't get, I made a commitment, I feel, to this earth, to us, to humanity, that I don't get to leave till this is done. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've had Jenny many, doesn't have an exit. I don't have it here. Choose, yeah. I love you guys, really. But um, no, but um, I feel that a lot of my past lives have been dedicated to either learning about humanity and how to get us um, through this phase of our development. Um, I've had a lot of past lives where I've died doing this. Um, and it doesn't matter to me. I, 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 and it, I would love to get to the end of this life and be like, yes, it's done. I don't think that's, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I think I'm, I'm just, I'm here until I feel with my whole being satisfied that we're here. We've done it. We, we can, we cannot, um, I just read a horrible, this is our planet right now, um, not to, this, these are the things that keep me mo motivated is that um, in Brazil they have homeless children, it's an epidemic, um, and they kill them like dogs, like rats. They put $20 price tags on their heads and the police go out or headhunters go out and they murder children. And um, I'm getting emotional about that. And we live in that world. That's, I'm okay, I'm, I, but, but we live in that world, and that's not okay. That's not okay, and um, I understand that soul contracts, and there are things that we came here to learn, but as long as I'm here, that's not okay. And I know a lot of other people feel the same way about that, about different things, and we're fragmented, we're separated, and now we get to come together, and we get to have a chance, an opportunity to raise our voice and say, not only is this not okay, but it's not who we are. And and let's move this forward. Let's stop this insanity, this this torture we do to our and it's ourselves. You know, we're we're hurting ourselves. So, um, well, I didn't expect to get that emotional about that, but that, I mean, it's just something. Of course. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I mean, yes, we live in a, in a very diverse world, yeah. and it's it's a world that anything can happen in. Actually, so we have to really move ourselves to our. We have to find who we really are. Because that's the only way that we're going to affect the world. So as we find our perfect selves, then we can affect the world in the way that we are supposed to. And when everything matters, but we can focus on one thing and and get it done, that's that's a good thing. So yeah, and then we work together. The spirit in us is is moving out. Oh yeah. So and when it comes out. And others can enjoy your spirit the same way as yeah. The spirit is yeah. enjoying. I think it's, firstly we gotta start enjoying our own spirit because you know we're our own worst enemies. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, and so you know, beginning to enjoy my own company is kind of a cool thing. It's like having a conversation with, you know, I don't know, a long lost relative or something. Hey, what's up? And that that's important. It's yes. so important. I think we're all finding each other too now. And I I have to say that there are people that on Human Colony that are finding each other, that are helping each other grow, that are connecting the group together in a different way than it's ever been connected before. Great. And it's growing now much faster than it was before. It seems like a dynamic process. It's constantly evolving, constantly changing, and that's what life is about. That's why we're we decided to do this again. Yes. You know, we engage in this dynamic process and watch it unfold. It that's just there's majesty in that. There's yeah. just oh my god, such wonder. I have a feeling this community is going to get really large eventually. We see it. Um, yeah. I, I, you all of you may want to share your experiences of how we're just. That's no, you're, you're you're exploring your spirituality, Absolutely. and then you know your neighbor Bob is like, I had an automatic experience. Yeah. I haven't been able to tell anybody, but you see, like now we yeah. want to be able to provide that right, uh, the safe place, this trust exactly. and safe place. Safe That's place. what human colony is as well. A safe place. A safe a place. Of, Don't a you agree? Of, yes, I, yes, I feel for myself that too. I. The thing is, testing the waters with our neighbors sometimes, and the people around yeah. us, with family members especially, that's the hardest thing sometimes. Yeah. Because if we're raised in a certain religion, to break that mold, sometimes we just have to throw it out there. Maybe start small. 
talk about ghost. Sometimes it leads oh, yeah. into the bigger things, yeah. you know, just the little things. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's wonderful. And we want, we, we cherish that. We want engagement. We want to share conversations with you. Jamie and I don't know it all. We have not, I mean, my God. That's why we're, we're doing this. The Zenza project is to just. It's to bring it together. It's to bring it all together. Yeah. We're, we all have a story, and they're equally valid. They're equally important. They're equally valid. There's no gurus in this. It's, you know, we're I, just brave humans. <laughs> I, I love the dynamic that you two bring because it is just watching your, sharing yourself, the vulnerability. This is what really connects people because they can relate to it. Yeah. They can relate to it. Exactly. It's being who you really are and not afraid to express. <laughs> if you're not afraid to express who you really are because it's important to be who you really are. You yeah. can't, I mean, why would you... It, I don't want to relate it to homosexuality and the movement going on there because that's its own powerful movement, but there are a lot of connections and similarities in that. Um, you lose friends. We're coming out of the spiritual closet. Yeah, we and really yeah, are. Yeah. And we're, oh, we opened the door. I think we even posted it on Facebook today yep. that we came out I of the closet. I have many family members going, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have many friends going, should we, do I just unfollow her or do I defriend her entirely? I'm just, I'm not but quite I, sure. I think for, for all that, there is that curiosity and there's yeah. that part of, it, it's that voyeurism in every single one of us. It's why we read books. It's why we right. read scandal magazines. It's why the actual environment is important. There's a drive that comes with that. that like you said, it's the curiosity. It's the passion. There's something within it. The spirit wants to come out. We can't hide it forever. There's some yeah. time and point in your life where you say, ah, I... I can't hide this from mom and dad and my brothers, my siblings, uh, my friends, my coworkers. It has to come out. Right. And this is where the attachments, it's, it's, the, it's being vulnerable to let go of attachments. It's hard. Oh, my God. Oh, it. it is so hard, you know. But the curiosity, the passion, the drive, it's those fears that when they come out and people see the vulnerability, they relate to what we're afraid to tell them, when they can relate to it, something familiarity, when they can relate to that, down the road, usually family members will eventually come around and say, I never knew that about you. Sometimes mm -hmm. I feel the same way, but I'm afraid to express it. What right. others will think, that's why. Oh, yes. When I first started channeling, I was afraid to express it. Um, it was like... Um, no, this is going to shut down friendships. It's going to uh, cause people to look at me like, oh, you're a little bit weird, which they still do. Um, yeah. But you know what? It, it was important for me to do so because it's important to mankind that I be who I'm supposed to be. And so that's why we're here today. That's why there's a community because Max saw the importance of building a community and I saw the importance of being part of it, and so um, it, it's not about me at all. It's about the community. It's about us being ourselves, us being connected together, the friendship, the love, the understanding, the honor, you know, and moving out of ourselves to be who we're supposed to be, what, who we really are, I should say. Uh, we're, we're gaining that knowledge that this is how to go. We have to just let it move forward. Nothing really matters, but everything matters. Yeah. So we, it, we it comes we down. Go ahead. One last thing. It comes down to a simple thing. We exist, period. We're yeah. here. There's a reason for that. But we exist, period. How powerful is that? Yeah, it's wonderful. We were, we were tossing around new taglines last night and I, I think we came well we came up with a whole bunch of stuff but one of them was um, we decided on a gathering place for the, for curious. the curious yeah. um, oh that's lovely well, we say that again a gathering place for the curious that's the Zenzuck project <laughs> that was misty's it started as a, a forum for humanity and we deconstructed it from there because you know 
that thought creative. That's a tangent. Yeah, that's okay. We that's have okay. a lot of tangents, like yeah. a lot, a lot, like pages and. I want to get back to it because I, I love like that vulnerability keeps coming up because it and, and being who you are and just existing because vulnerability is your perfect state of existence. Absolutely, in a lot of ways, yeah. And it's so third dimensional. Yes, I know. Talk more. It's wonderful. About it's wonderful. third dimensional. That's one of my things. Is I'm working through the process mm. of third dimensional living to fourth dimensional living to fifth dimensional living because I feel like we get a lot of messages saying we're moving from 3D to 5D. And mm -hmm. so I, I, you know, I have an idea, and I, I have asked people, and um, I have an idea of what that process looks like. It's different for everybody, but so let me pose it to you. How do you? What do you think? Um, how that shift looks in your experience from three dimensional to fourth dimensional or fifth dimensional? I think it looks like evolution. Um, it's uh, we're here now. We're we're gaining this spiritual understanding and fourth dimensional energy that that we're growing into. Some it's awakening, mm -hmm. and as we awaken into the fourth dimensional energy, we become less dense in the sense that. Third dimensional doesn't matter as much, but it still is important to be grounded and pull it up through. But the thing is about it, the understanding comes down. Once you open that door, it all it, 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 it pours down. And then once you hit the fifth dimension, that pours down through as well. So as we're moving up, it's pouring down. Constant experience. Yeah, so that's how I picture it. Anybody else have their own picture? And that's another thing I was talking about. The grounding also is so yeah, important grounding. because grounding is the the base of what we right. need to really to go out to to express ourselves to others. We have to have a firm base, a grounding of who we are. You know? Yeah. Speaking about the grounding, um, describe how did you get to this point? What did you accomplish practically with the project, and where do you move practically with the project? Mm -hmm. Practically with our project. Practically, is um, we have a lot of great friends that we've met over the internet, specifically through the Channeling Eric site. Um, we have uh, Miss Teresa Powers. We have Ashley Riley, Jennifer Galori. Galori. I screwed it up. Um, uh, botanical Guides. I'm sorry if I forgot anybody uh, who gave us a lot of input, who contributed a lot um, with their own experiences, their own knowledge, their own expertise. Um, and so that's what we want to do is to get more people um, keeping our contributor base, but to get more people, and you don't have to be necessarily an expert, we just want to know what you're going through, and that's how we're practically moving ahead is um, soliciting knowledge from people, asking for you to share your experiences, um, write, please write, you, you know, fiction, we, you know, just go video. out there, video, uh, Any go make a movie, a go make a documentary, we're good with that. you know, make art. And send it to us, and let it reflect your authentic experience of Zen Zook. Of um, how do you cope, you know, with this conflict? Because it it can drive you mad, you know, that I'm here, but you're there. Too. But I'm there too, and it's more fulfilling there because anybody knows if you're on the spiritual path, like you go through these real peaks oh, yeah. and valleys at first because you get that bliss shot. And you're all blissed out, and then you're back on Earth, and you're like, God, this sucks, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, you find that a lot of people don't want you to be who you are. Yes. Oh, there's, because yeah. then they have to change, and they have to look at things because differently. Because if you are who you are, they have a trouble accepting it. The process. But if, you if you are who you are, and they can accept it, the connection becomes so great. And they become who they are yeah. because yes. they're not yeah. afraid yeah. to express you. who they are because you're brave enough to express who you're you are. You're giving them the opportunity in that moment. Yes. You're giving them the opportunity. So remember that. Matter. Yes. Be who you are. If you are, you know, if you are a Buddhist, if you are a, if you are homosexual, or if you are. Chilling. Uh, Atheist. Just chilling and yeah. atheist. You have to be who truly that you are, and not be afraid to tell others. If you if you like drugs a lot, like Justin said, he he was brave enough to share that Very his, brave. Very brave. that experience is and there's a part lot of, of his spirituality. Like yeah. and I don't, Justin. I have to tell you, I don't think that drugs will always be part of your spirituality, but it is the the catalyst. 
Yes, and, and and it's and it's breaking down right now. It, it yeah. really is right now, and I and I've I found out my simple existence to just be to just be me simply. Some right. water, some proteins, some fruits and salad, and the sacred herb. And before I partake in my sacred herb, I always bless it as I'm doing it. I'm talking to it as myself, and I'm. You know, everyone that helped get this to me and, and everything that brought it to me, to, allowing me to be grounded in my now moment and right. be able to connect with you, my other universal aspects of the universe as well I, as on Earth. I, I want you to realize, though, that when, when drugs are involved, they take away the grounding sometimes. So that's, be aware and, of that. And that's what I'm reversing. I'm literally yes, reversing sure. everything. I... I live. I'm learning how to extend my moments of uh, extend these moments. Not so. I, I pull them within me, and I'm able to eliminate duality. I can. I feel myself where I'm in this bubble, and it'll just get bigger and bigger, and well, and I get you're... lighter, and it gets more protective. And and I'm realizing that there is a situation that I'm in right now that's taking me out of it. Correct. And, and the universe has lined it up for me to go to Texas. I already got the bus ticket. There's a couple other things, and on Sunday I'll be in San Antonio with family, or leaving. Oh, yeah, Sunday I'll be leaving, and I'm so and excited I, because I I think that experience that you're going to have in Texas is going to be very grounding, and yes. it, it's going to open up some other uh, ways of communication for you because I see you as a communicator, but whenever you bring it down to the grounding level, it's going to be way fantastic. Now, Brian, you're already a great communicator, and Sabrina and some of the other ones already can just sit there and communicate and pour their thoughts right into somebody else's head. That is amazing. So, um, And I think you'll be there, too. I do. I, I thank really, you, Jim. Lately, yes, thank you. I really lately have noticed that um, Source or um, our friends from the colonies will wake me up right before a uh, hangout or wake me up when there's been messages about, like, hey, go check this. At night, I've been feeling just different light beings, different beings that are coming in, and I, I feel hands. Last night, I felt like this. It was it was like a almost like a snake like being, but it was made out of light. Mm -hmm. And the best way to put it, it was like an or, it was a, it was it was an Ouroboros, so a, a snake that's like eating itself, if you will. And it was twisted in like a infinity sign, horizontal. Yeah. And then there was another one that was vertical, and the the intersecting points were together. And it just was just the most beautiful light shining through it, but there was a diamond like right in the middle of it. And then I felt this light after it was it came in to my head, and then something was like massaging my pineal gland last night, and I felt something like dripping down through my pineal gland, You're down the roof of my mouth, and wow. then it just went to my heart, and then I just started having just similar experiences that I've experienced before. It was, and it, I, I created I created some type of, I was able to unlock the key to like a gateway, if you will. I found a, I found my own key to a certain, to different gateways. You're in a constant state of Zen Zooked. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a constant state of flux and change and experience and wonder, and that's a great thing. So, but I think that once it's all grounded, it's going to be like you're going to be writing a book. So, because yeah. um, the those experiences are they they have to be told in a way that everybody can share them. That's just and and we do at the at the Zenza Project. We have a, a form for that. It's in the works for the future. I've purchased twenty ISBN numbers. Wow. Uh, so we are going to be publishing. I, I worked for a long time in the publishing world before. I had a magazine called Witherson Magazine, published a few books. Um, we're really, really, really excited about that. And I just know it's going to come to fruition, and it's going to be this, this group community 
We're Thanks. we're so happy to work with you, really. Here, I'm blessed. Really, I'm really. so glad to be able to be here back in Rochester and yeah. actually be in person instead of on a. On Where a were phone. you before? I was. I um. I'm from here. I'm yeah. from. I'm from here originally. Uh, right now I live in Virginia Beach. Okay. So uh, we. I was so glad you're here. Fantastic. I, I am really glad to be here. Cool. I'm very very glad to be here. So um, see, this is a us connecting again. Many, many, all kinds of connections going on and all kinds of uh, vibrational raising going on because, you know what, you're becoming more of who you are through listening to who we are. Well, we had a yeah. little experience this morning yeah. when, because uh, we had met on the phone while well, I yeah. was sort of in Jamie's hands on the phone, and uh, <laughs> we <laughs> I was ch talking and no one could hear me, so it's okay. Um, I think you broke the silence and said, I think Misty has something to say. And then I forgot what I had to say because was, I was like, oh, so it hurt me. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, today, when, when before we started, um, we came in and, and the dogs came right up to you and they started performing Reiki on them. And that's one thing that we share um, is and that we, we both are practitioners of Reiki. And and those those ancient arts, those things that have been really integrated up in, into us as human beings. I believe that everyone is naturally attuned to Reiki, or we would not respond to it. Period. Right. So all of the, you know, the, the the fluff and stuff with it. If you take that away, we innately respond to it because we are already attuned. Um, we're all masters. It's just accepting that and embracing it and and utilizing it. And there is such great peace. You have yeah. amazing energy, and um, it, it's it's this evolving dynamic mm -hmm. process. And so, I would like to engage everyone to, to really throw out there what what do you want to hear from us in the yeah. next yeah, issue? I, 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 what topics do you want us to cover? I have a but perfect. Uh, we just have Roxy join us, and I want you to meet Roxy. Hi, everybody. Hi. hi, Roxy. So, Roxy, hi. Roxy is uh, is uh, a star. Is a star. <laughs> I'm not a star. You're going to make me blush. You meet Roxy in a way that you kind of summarize what you just said in one hour and uh, half an hour, one and a half hour. <laughs> summarize it in a way that Roxy can uh, get it. Basically, I want you to meet each other and help each other. So, figure out how you can, can help each other. Roxy is also a channeler of notoriety. She. She is excellent. You do. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, I will show. So that's an image, an image which you might use in your Zenzuk project if you like. I love that. I love and that. Here we go. And that's another one which uh, was inspired by your conversation about. Actually, no. Yeah. It's, it's like that. Uh, your conversation you about drugs inspired yeah. this image, all right? And. Uh, okay. Cool. That's it's another one. It's a continuation about conversation about drugs. I don't know what it is. It's just what it is. Image. And, and the image, share. Share your imagery. Share that. This is the stuff we want. This is our <laughs> truth. Yeah. And I mean, really and honestly, when we open our creative outlet, that just gives us permission to just be ourselves. We don't need to put up any fronts. Um, I used to use uh, an alias. I used to use a pen name. I, I hid behind it for years. Um, because I, my, my last magazine was this edgy, it was Withers Magazine, it was like a horror magazine, this contemporary thing, and my credo was like exploring the darker side of the human condition, because everyone thought it was kind of like dirty, and I'm like, hey man, it's cool, like dark, all right. Well, so, the project, the so the project, the ends up project, uh, we can sum it up really quickly just by saying that it is a gathering place for the curious. We want to provide a, a forum. A safe place. That's safe. A safe place um, for people experiencing all kinds of spiritual phenomena, psychic uh, gifts developing, whether you're just starting out or, you know, we're of the range, whether you're an expert just starting out. And we come together and we share our eternalness of being and what this experience is like for us. We connect, we network, but it's through creativity, um, through 
we are writing magazine, we want authors, we want articles, we want, and we're also a multimedia magazine, we want uh, video blogs, we want your films, we want Arbit, I mean, artists, arch, we want sculpture, I mean there is no limit. We and, want and voices, really we want authentic voices um, to help pull us together as a community and to become stronger um, for each other, for ourselves, and for you know, our healing, our world healing. And to take para out of paranormal. Yes, yes. that was the <laughs> best thing. We, to wanna, take we want to make paranormal normal. normal. Yes. Because it is really nice. I guess one, one good thing you can do, you can set up now an interview with Roxy and interview Roxy. That would be a good so idea. They tell, tell, so Roxy, tell us about you because they love you. This is our first time meeting you. So Hi. tell us about you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, how do you wrap that up in a... Right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You don't. <laughs> exactly. That would just be like so limiting in the label idea, but we'll give you an idea. I'm a channel. Uh, I started about it. I woke up a year ago. I celebrated, uh, I guess, the one year anniversary idea of, 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 let's say, coming out into the spiritual realm, quit my 3D job, uh, and it was October 1st. Synchronistically, I got what you call the spiritual flu. How awesome! And uh, yeah, I know that was funny. And you know, did did some stuff and talked to my higher selves. And I was like, okay, you know, you're shifting some DNA, some healing, blah blah blah. Don't worry about it. And I was like, awesome. And uh, so in the last year, I got you know, I've been blogging on my uh, WordPress.com, and I'm writing a book with Seth. And uh, I got about yeah. six thousand. Yeah, I channel Seth, and we're writing a book called Probable Selves. We're about six thousand words into it, and uh, it's pretty. It's 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 mind bending, of course, because any you know anyone who reads Seth after a paragraph, you're like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like it was like really Seth. I mean, just, you know, he goes, well, that's who I am, you know. And uh, I'm a channel, and I you know I do what you do. Let's let's bring the community together of the spiritual world, so it becomes commonplace, much like channeling, like Bashar, 1980. Seven, whenever he truly started, you know, during the harmonic convergence, you know, it was a phenomenon. You know, now it's commonplace within this, you know, scope of spirituality community. But we're pushing those envelopes and going farther and farther to let more people know that hey, channeling is just is just what it is. It's a part of the ability of human, you know, much like seeing in the four. Let's say, let's just say the five five senses. And like I went to. Uh, an open mic night, and I did a channel bomb. People call it like you know, kind of like a photo bomb. You just hop in there, and I did a channel bomb. You know, you know, people are like, "Well, are you gonna sing? Are you gonna do this?" And I said, "No, but I have a talent." <laughs> you know, and that's how I did a channel, and I just brought it out there. And wherever I'm at, and however it is, I speak my truth. I don't go out and preach. I I have this thing. I don't preach, teach, or reach. <clears throat> What I do is offer, and in that moment, I'm inspired to do that, and I know it's not out of vanity then, because if I'm thinking about it, I'm pulling off the known, and the known is limited, so I let it go, and then poof, if it's an epiphany, I go, ah, and that's when I speak and you know do those kind of things, and that, because it's perfect synchronicity, is most beneficial to all that are involved in that vibrational sense, and of course the collective, because we're all one, we know that. Yes. So... You know that I love that, and so that's my part. My highest thing is to put out this way, and to get more channelers, more people taking on the abilities of galactic languages and channeling is a commonplace. And now, like I said, you know, Daryl and 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 the greats, we'll call them the greats, Daryl and uh, Abraham and Jay Z Knight. You know, she's gone a little confined, but she, you know, still moved the collective for, um, most certainly. And uh, you know, Cryon and and you know the the large ones. Now, among the spiritual community, it's commonplace to have channelers. I'm, I'm sure we have five or six channelers in this room right here, and it's just the trust factor. And I like how Sifius, he's one of my higher selves, said in my last channeling, it's like whatever you believe on. He's like, believe in me, Peter Pan, and you shine your light of belief on that, and if it's channeling, you get that back because the universe is neutral. It's like, here, what do you want? Tell me. And so I think that more and more people have the ability to channel and do that kind of thing, and we're putting that out there. It's like, guys, we are not multi-personality disorder. We're multi-dimensional. Here, let's no, meet Osiphius. So you know, let's meet this. Let's meet that. And let's bring that to the collective, to, you know, to say, hey, we are a lot more than the limitation of what they say. And they say a lot, but they're also full of shit. So, you know, there you go. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Do yes. <laughs> I know. I, I'm a little bit in love 
right now. They're all sort of the same thing. What was just Make said, me blush. we're almost like verbatim repetitions of what we said in the, the yeah. initial thing. It just ties everything together with the synchronicity and, and how we're all supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> we're all doing this and together. Roxy's a star because she's no bullshit and she puts the facts right out there and says what it is. We, last night we went to go, Jamie and I went to go get ice cream and uh, wow, that was an experience. Uh, <laughs> it, it was it was the messiest thing, and I I really I was like I want to take a picture and put that on the sense of project. And say, it wasn't messy. supposed to be this messy. <laughs> Why was it supposed to be that messy? It was like this lopsided, <laughs> shitty looking Sunday, but it was Aww. it was delicious and it was wonderful, and to be able to experience that with the five senses, with the things that we try to escape from as humanity. You know, grows into this ascension instead of right. sleeping from it. Embrace it because, man, ice cream is awesome. Sex is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's yeah. let's just yes. let's just be people. This yes. is great. Yes. So, Roxy, tell us how um tell us how that you you touched upon your transition from your three D living into mm -hmm. where you are now. What did you find? Um, how did you come to the process of letting go of your attachments, that's, uh, you know, your limitations, to get to this point, to, to be authentic and let the spirit out? Yes. Well, he, I, th I think the best way to equate it is, is after thinking about it, I've been always waking up all my life. I was a big 3D person, was in the car business, and then, you know, at, at some point, I would stop and look around and get a case of what I call, I get a case of the fuckets. You know, it's like, <laughs> God, this doesn't work for me anymore. I don't understand, and I would quit this job and go off on this tangent, become the philosophical person I was, and I would start writing and you know just things like that, and I would always be screaming at God, and I was like, "What the fuck is this about? What is it about?" And then I would like, "Okay, here come the beliefs again," and I said, "Okay, I got you're right. I lost my head, and I get back into 3D." But then after a, a you know a repetition amount, you just like, "Okay, you have a point." I think everybody does. There's a point of wisdom built in that you just know and it's non-questionable to anything equatable to the past. It's like I can't question it because it just feels so perfect. It's wisdom. Big difference between like belief, knowing and wisdom. And that wisdom came to a point in me and it was like, okay, there is something different. I'm ready. And through a series of synchronistic moments, I led myself to a point to where I could trust through my own experiences in the past couple of months before I wake up that I can do this and then I redefined my relationship and, 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 and this is really big and, and I love how Seth puts it we are relationship to our environment for me to exist in a different realm I would have to understand the relationship of the vibration of that realm so for me to experience it yeah, so in this realm I'm relating it to the vibration to understand in the equation so in that understanding I was looking at things that I were attached to that were defining me as an existence a mask an acceptance a, a doing something so I can feel love so I can feel like I belong and it would like validate me it was my treasure and whenever the, anyone went against it I would get pissed off because my ego was saying fuck you I need to feel good so I'm gonna push you away but I was the one that was defining that and once I realized I was the one who built the construct I would start redefining the things that made me me in personality ego construct and when I started letting go of those attachments and then going through the wall of fear by trusting watching Bashar <laughs> oh yes, and trusting that on the other side of that wall was only peace, only love, only sanctity, only content, and of course wisdom in its ever blossoming moment of fruition. I was like, ah, oh. so I would get that, and it was like just a series of nows that I set up. And once I understood it was not me, the separate, it was I, the all that am, and I connected to the higher self, and I said, okay, higher self, and I had to use that practicum. And now it's just me. I'm God here. Awesome. But it took me that series of understanding to get to that, to build that trust, to yeah. level up, so to speak. And I let go of those things that define me to the outside for acceptance, for self-deception, for whatever mask I was donning and decorating in at the time. So that's how it became, you know, letting go. And then all of a sudden, you know, I sat there and I was talking to God and I was like, so I can do whatever the hell I want. And I didn't have that much freedom. And that scared the crap out of me. 
because I was like, who am I to be able to go out and just be that? And I was like, oh. and then I said, okay, who's going to help me? And of course, God said, I will. You, he, Osiphius, your higher selves, everyone, you've got the entire angelic realm right here. Trust that. And I was like, ah. So I start listening and trusting my higher thoughts in its purest form, not after it was you know, filtered through the perceiving mind, analyzed, and come back with the little nugget and said, okay, here's the outcome. It's like, no, forget that. That's, you know, that's the past. Just trusting that a first initial thought and following that, and those attachments left. You know, and, and, and here I am today just speaking whatever comes to my mind, not worrying about what you think because I'm the expression of my truth. And my truth is the vibration state of God, so it must be love. And if it's love, it gives you the offering for you to choose in the mirror reflection. Blowing up my heart okay. chakra. Yeah. Blowing up my heart chakra. Like, I want to like cry right now because... It's... Well, come here. Give me a hug. No. <laughs> 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 this is this is the kind of communication that we okay. need all the time. Yeah. Um, so Roxy, I just for a picture for you. Aww. Aww. Oh, I'm looking for oh, leaf flowers and rose. Yeah. Thank you, baby. I love that. Uh, but pure um, love. Pure love. thank you for joining us today. Thank you really. so much. Oh, you're most welcome. We want to be in touch. We want to be in touch. We oh. want to do interviews and stuff. You and are in and touch. We are, <laughs> we are now in touch. We are publishing books and we're publishing so. and promoting. So. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Uh, that book yeah. We're yeah. Uh, I, uh, I volunteer <laughs> also. <laughs> there we go. We're going to start Hello. small. We're, we're big. We're actually. I have something to mention. Oh. Yes. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Roxy. Love you. Love you, doll. Love everybody. Nice. Um, Misty, I believe is her name, the yeah. one to the far end. Oh, that's Jamie. That's Jamie. Oh, Jamie. She went places. Jamie. <laughs> she went and ate a donut off camera. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you mentioned that your higher self is Hugh. That is. That's me. Uh, yeah, my higher self's name is Hugh. Uh, oh my gosh, stop. Yes, that's why I thought I had to mention it. Holy cow, Sarah. It's Roxy. Do you know who taught me to channel? Who? Hugh. Hugh. Hugh? Yes. Hugh. Oh my god, Hugh. I, I am not I kidding. I would automatically change to Hugh. And I, so I've been calling him Hugh forever. Roxy. You're getting around, girl. Wow. Roxy. Roxy. Expand awesome. upon that. And talk about that sound, that vibration of Hugh. Hugh. Yeah. Well, it was, it was this. It was, I had, um, you know, I was Hathor's channeling and speaking Parisian and writing their stuff down and then posting it on blogs and stuff like that. And then, you know, one day in thing, and I get this voice, and it says, hi. And I said, hello. And he goes, you want a channel? And I said, yes, I do. You know, I'm very excited about it. Well, my name is Hugh, and I will teach you. I am not your higher self. I am one of your guides, and I will teach you to channel. And Hugh taught me to channel. And oh this God, is sick. Feel it. That's amazing. Oh. It's, what can that so I love this. I so love this. This is great. I love it. I love it. And it's ex exposing those connections and having being vulnerable and not afraid. It's like right. something in the world for you to tell me this. Because I, I, you know, I get wrapped up in my own human junk. And sure, humans, you know, <laughs> human. Human. <laughs> Hughes, Hughes uh, pulled me out quite a few times. So that is just that's wonderful. Oh man, we have a lot to talk about. That's awesome. Here, you, let me, I, let me uh, put this in the chat real quick. In the chat is my YouTube channel link. On uh -huh. the home page, there's a link to my. Uh, my regular web page. There's my contact information there. So just call me, Skype me, or or email me, and that's all my information is in there. So just Absolutely. click on the YouTube or get that channel or however you guys want to do it there. But you know, most people here know how to get a hold of me. No, say that. Where where is it at again? What's that? Okay, it's right here on this. There it is. Okay, he's got it. The, the, oh my gosh, that's awesome. The, I'm just. Here. I'm sitting with that, and 
That was a gift that you just gave me. So there thank you. you. There you go. And thank I just also welcome. put my phone number in there. So I, I give my phone number out to anyone. It doesn't matter because I'm only one. So it's so if you call my call me, I'll answer. I had a call from Israel the other day, and there were like two girls. They were like 19 years old. They go, "Oh my God, Roxy, you! I didn't think you would answer. Oh my God!" <laughs> <laughs> so we talked like for a half an hour. And they were like, "Oh my God, thank you so much for talking." It was uh, really awesome. There's so yeah, so <laughs> we're here to just establishing these connections and cementing them, and then we have just all the time in the world for expansion and and create this dynamic process and engage in it. Uh, I feel so close to you. I don't know you very well. I, I know Jim and I have always like I feel and Max too. I, I feel like we have like a, a connection, family connection, something like uh, you remind me of somebody I know um, very well, so another close friend of mine. So yeah, I know. I know. I feel very connected <laughs> to these people. Here is um, a practical question: uh, How do you build a community? I tried to build a community many times, and only once I was really successful, like with this project. So. You are just starting. How big is your community right now? And um, I guess that would be a nice question. First question is how big is your community right now? I, I think eight people. Well, well no, I, I, I disagree <laughs> with you. I really do. No, 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 go ahead. Because go. we have, in our lives and in our experience, we've been able to touch so many people and share with so many people. I've I met just tons of people going to school in California, that yeah. did, just moving around the country, being exposed to different things. Uh, we've shared so much that we're all integral with each other. It's just a stranger on the street that says something sometimes that just resonates with you. That's God reinforcement, and <laughs> and we God we need we need it. And so what we know we need it. We give it to ourselves. So I think we are way 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 more connected than than a number could possibly say. I mean, mm -hmm. to answer that question, um, you know, with a number. I'll share with you this. My number, my number is 808. It's been 808 since the beginning of the beginning. And Jennifer Glory, who's not with us today, did mention something about that that was significant. And it's two infinity symbols with the zero in the middle, which really represents birth, and the I am whole. And so I, I find that the more that I resonate with that numerology and that understanding of self as being infinite yet able to create, um, it is, that's the truth. And so there is no limit and there is no number to how big our community is. It, it is all of us. It's mm -hmm. all of us. And all of us that are willing to be brave and we want to just provide a safe forum that's full of trust and full of engage in a conversation. We're not gurus. We're not we are not the we're not the go to people. We just wanna surround ourselves with people that want to share what what we intrinsically know. Um, we want to transform the world and I think um, by transforming the self and the ourselves, yes. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo is right. Yes. So, Roxy, I know your new approach to building a community, but how do you build a community? Can you tell? Truly, this may seem a little odd, but I'll give you this. I don't try to build anything, because here's what I do know. My action in and of itself is the vibration of love, and that only draws upon those who are searching, they have come to that pinnacle time of a lost soul that needs to be shepherded into shore. Yeah comes at that pinnacle time and there my light, my resonance, my vibration, my pinging offers that light and that builds the community in and of itself. But if I put an idea on of it that is supposed to be an idea of a community with a number of validation of outside of what is perceived within the scope of a community, then I will limit it to that, not going beyond that. So no scope, no idea, just being the unison of one, even though it looks daunting in this now, this is why I chose this now, because I ended this concept of I know, don't need to define anything in particular as that. So now that I just keep doing that, my community has grown to five, 6,000 people on interactions, just, you know, with maybe just people and outskirts snowing, and then, of course, a lot of people. But if I label that, then I'm comparing it, and that compare can only be, let's say, to a rule. And I don't know anyone who has a rule book. 
So poof, I let that go and just keep continuing being me. And in that fashion, I create the idea of the community that I see in my reality, the unum of one, that everyone vibrating through the individual expression, that of love. Booyah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very well. I, I would agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's afraid. I think yeah. Yeah, Sabrina, how how would you build a community? What's your approach? Um, my approach is similar to to Roxy's. I think that helping one person at a time, and helping each other, being there for each other, little by little, starts to build the community. Because to me, it's not the, the numbers is not as important as what you're doing with it, what you're doing with the people that are around you, and and how you are treating each other, how you are perceiving each other, and all those things. I think as you do that, uh, then you start to build a community. But for me, the most important thing is that you are being, you are helping each other and and pulling each other up when needed. Then I think you build a solid community, not just a community, um, not just people, but people that are actually united and that can be uh, helpful to each other and to others, go out and reach out for others. So that when you are creating a community, you're creating a community of leaders where everyone becomes a leader, not followers. Because we no longer need followers. I think we have done plenty of that. Oh, I like that. I like that. A yeah, lot. we have lots of experience with it. Lead, leading, yeah, yeah, yeah thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Uh, Visionary. Uh, I, I think. Well, you got your Aries right here. April 4th, my birthday is April 4th, Saturday. April 5th is the resurrection of Christ. My name's Justin Cody Ibarra L. The moon, the moon will be in the same exact position. On my 30th birthday, April 4th, that it was on my day of birth, oh, April 4th, 1985. April 4th birthday. Oh, you do? Yes. I'm April. There's, mm -hmm. there's really, there's, a, there's so much, so much that's like, the heavens, the heavens are, they aren't crashing down. They're coming down more comfortably this time. And uh, it's time for uh, all the different collectives of the creators to live on Earth again through us. So those that are willing to... Yeah. Give up their old self to be their truest self. Will be the ones that are known as the king and queens of the of the new of the new earth, the new realm of earth. I'm waiting for the time when I can run naked around my backyard and scream and yell, and nobody will care. <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. I see. I, you saw my dream, Jim. You saw my dream. I, I literally, I literally, I saw. Okay, the dream that I had, or. It was a vision, excuse me. So I've been getting these, vi not visions, but full-on like emails from source saying there's like infinite abundance in the form of the energy of money coming. Yeah. And it's like, first you it felt like it was all around me. And then it felt like uh, I had welcomed it into me. And I started feeling just like I'm the source of this energy. And it's up to me to transmute it into love energy and I need people like Hukalo and yourselves and and people like brother Brad Johnson and, and Rob Gautier and, and Sister Roxy also I will see you soon I'm leaving on Sunday awesome uh, I wanted yeah. to ask um, so um, Gabriel you what said by what told by it occurred that you're a future leader so you're possibly also thinking about building communities. Can you reflect on that? The idea is not to focus on many people you want. You will have exactly as many people you need. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I agree. You are you not really know. successful how many people there are. The only it's limitations are in your own mind. What we set for ourselves. Correct. Those boundaries self-impose. You may end up with a community with only one person that is you. And that's fine. It's ultimately that may be the best solution at the moment. The idea is not to limit yourself while you create the community. And limit the community. Very good. Very good. Well, 
And Jim, real quick, if you need any company while running around naked, I'm in. <laughs> there's comfort in numbers, and I want to support. to go. I also like the picture on your shirt. Yes. But you know, I mean, that's the freedom of who we are, and sometimes that's what I want to do. But uh, society limits us a little bit. But um, you know what? I'm still who I am, and I I take advantage of that whenever I can. So. Jim. Booyah. You, you, do, you have a very small backyard, right? Yeah, I do. In fact, my backyard is between houses. House. <laughs> so they might have houses. <laughs> I bet I could do it. I'm sure I could. But I mean, I, I the thing is, it. that is part of who we are. If we feel like doing something, a lot of times we limit ourselves to what we're going to do. But the freedom that we are going to provide for the rest of the world with our with with who they are being themselves, who we are being ourselves, we should we should interact as a community and not care. We should say, "Oh, I love who you are, no matter if I agree with it or not." Right. So, but if you if you love each other unconditionally, there is no hate. Well, and there's relevancy in conflict. You know, right. it doesn't have to be I'm right. I have to be right. It's a challenge of growth. You know, when you come together and you butt heads and you stand back and you reevaluate your position and that person reevaluates their position and then you share the process that you've just you've learned from. And the, the Zenza project yeah. came out of that. I mean, Jamie process. and I are like, oh my god, I think she drank me thinking I did. screaming through this because brilliant. it was so yeah. great. Um, this is frightening. <laughs> but but it's conquering uh, success is human frightening. emotion instead of letting it conquer you. That you don't have to have life happen to you. You can happen you to can life. life when you get in touch with your authentic self. When you say fuck my limitations, and you just go out there and you live it the best that you can, and and you do the best that you can. There isn't. There's no more standards of perfection. It almost looks backwards, but yeah, it does. Uh, it will be Visit us at it is the zenzukproject.com. That is S E H N. Are you a backwards? S U. No, 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 it's fine. H. Can you see it? I see. Oh, it's also on our screen. On their screen, it's fine. Oh, okay. I'm always confused. Yeah, it's like looking too. into a mirror. Ambulance thing. Because otherwise, he would be on the left, and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on the mirror. It's kind of yeah. I can see. Check us out. Like us on Facebook. I'm curious. Um, let's keep the dialogue going. We want you know, to hear from network. You. I mean, please know, like this. Let's is promote your material. A... Yeah, right. Let's promote your material. Let's promote your authentic being. Let's get out there. Let's run naked through this world and let them know we're not leaving this time. Like we're not. You're not putting us at crosses. You're not burning us at stakes. You're not shutting us up with your laws. You're not silencing us. Silencing us with your religions because your religions are failing. They're my religions too. And we're here, and we're we're done with the bullshit. We're done. It's great. I'm oh, a little. I love that. Right. <laughs> I also wanted Brian to uh, again to ask you the same question. How would you build the community? What's your reflection on building the community? Ah, oh, you're putting me on the spot. It's good. I love it. I'm getting vulnerable now. You got it, Brian. You can do it. Yes, I I love this. <laughs> Let me close my eyes and really reflect on this. Um, building the community is those of like mind, uh, but not excluding anyone. Allowing ourselves, the spirit, to come out to the surface and to bring those, to attract those of like vibration, like and like attracts, let it be so. Um, it is just putting yourself out there, not a number. It's just being you. It's, it's the authentic you that wants to come out and play. Now, and even in spite of fear, let it be. Let the fear come out. Because you can look at it and, and say, ah, hello, fear. You can embrace it. That is getting into the vulnerability. But to the community, building a community starts with the self, the self-reflection of who you are. I love that, yes. Booyah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you and I want that as a sound clip for our website. We also have uh, Sarah, Sarah. Would you like to speak on building a community? Yes, building a community. A community. It requires one word, one emotion. Love. Amen. 
in love there is acceptance of everyone oh yeah whether you perceive it as good whether you perceive it as dark it requires an acceptance and that's it you build from there. When Max started Human Colony and um, it was just out there, we had no real expectations. I didn't have any expectations whatsoever and ever. And here we are, and I still don't know where it's going to go. I have no limit. We have no limitations on it. But you know what I found? The community that arrived with no expectations was perfect for everyone. It's appropriate. It's appropriate and perfect and everyone learns at their own level and everyone learns what they need to learn from you, Human Colony and they bring that those relationships into a, a future of greater relationships. So Absolutely. It's an evolution. It is an evolution. Right. And I just feel really very, very honored that we have so, such beautiful people. So many, many pardons. Um, Sister Roxy, are we, t I, I, pardon me, I know we are telepathically communicating in this moment and have been. Very much so. What Just you're wanted on? to confirm it. <laughs> yes, yeah, like Osifia said, uh, I, I keep saying that because he channeled it, so I always reference it. He channeled this on Friday. We don't have five senses now, guys. We have six senses. Oh yeah, it, it is only you that don't don't trust it that it's there. But that's okay because that's your process, that's your understanding, that's your awakening. Booyah! So yeah, we are all telepathically hooked up right now because that's what we are. We're vibration of that. Oh, yeah. I can understand. We are all we are all connected in this moment of this oh, yeah. now and of many nows to come. So I saw this in my dreams last night. You you are all. Uh, it's I'm just speaking just to confirm it. And I'll shut up. <laughs> no, you're you're fine, doll. We're engaging in this conversation. It's amazing. You know, we want we want to share. What's the puppy? Hi, baby. I know. Well, she wants some love too. She wants That's some love too. Rika. Rika. Hi, Rika. Rika said, came as soon as I walked in the door. Rika and Gola both came over to oh, me yeah. and were like <clears throat> laid down on the floor so Whatever. I could break even. So, Caitlin, would you like to reflect on community? Are you available, Caitlin? I'm here. Oh, please talk. You're also a leader, and you have. Um, yeah, please, go, please uh, tell us something about building a community. Well, to put it simply, if I wanted to, I would. I learned over these past few weeks that I was limiting myself from doing so many things just because I doubted myself. And um, as a teenager, that's normal, right? So. If I want a community, I'll just go out there and make it. I don't need to worry about numbers of people. I don't need to worry about searching for people because I have everybody that I need here. And that's what matters to me. So, yeah, love, joy, happiness, it's that everything. Conversation <laughs> that we need to engage with, with each other because we are all segments of each other. There's so much, you've, as we connect, we become more whole. And, um, well, Jim said it, um, you come in with no expectation, and you let people show you who they are, and you show people who you are. In and, a safe space. And, and a safe space, and then you build, and you build. Mm -hmm. and those who want to do this project, they go, oh my god, this works for me too, and they go do it. And then, those who want to get in on that or they've got a new layer to add to that project and they want right. to grow and expand it or you want to connect the projects together like we're doing. Um, you know, and it's a beautiful. It's, and I love how the dynamic process is it's like unfolding. A, it's, it's the blossom. Yes. It's amazing how we're working together. Yeah. And it, at first it was like we didn't we didn't know each other at all. Right. But now we're like family. So yeah. it's, it's great. I feel very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. With the languages, I'm learning how to. Like, I just trust that I will speak the languages, collect the language, and then I speak it. I don't know what I'm going to say or what language it will be. 
and if we le learn how to trust everything, uh, that everything will work out. Another thing about the languages is it brings people so close together. Do you guys, do you guys feel that? I mean, oh, yes. I've noticed that the Arcturian, the Reptilian, it doesn't matter what language it is, it resonates with so many people. Any language, even my Elvish language, it relates to people, and people are like, yeah, I know that. So it brings us together in a way because we resonate with that, and it's a connection between us all. It's like a link. So, so you do yeah. Elvish language? You know, so you work with elves, or like you have... Yeah, she has elementals around her. That's I work cool. with a lot of elementals. <laughs> Caitlin, Caitlin, can you give them a little yes. taste of that? Yeah, give us a blessing. We're here. Oh gosh. Okay. Sukotu arii nari kuskarari askarata sikitari ki aram nari nar suskuna araskana iki aritina sokora manahi karaskana ayato to skona arati ikiti nai ki amatari ki oroskuna i. Yeah. <laughs> like I got really oh, that was wonderful. That was beautiful. Jim, did they get the Yes. Thank it you. was it was respect your world. We are part of your world. We are your world. We help you with everything that is part of the, the world we live in. Love <laughs> us and the world will love you as well. Yes. You. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. My, my perception of it for, for my for the energy that was for me was just simply be that which you were destined to be. Right. The new embodiment of Christ. Yes. We already made these decisions. <laughs> that was a, that is uh, paraphrasing of yes. what yes. <laughs> the meaning. <laughs> Hey guys, people left who didn't speak yet. Uh, Franciszek, oh. hang on, guys, real quick. I gotta uh, get off here. I have a um, a Skype appointment coming up um, with my friend in Australia. So, girls, give me a call on my phone number. My website's there. Doesn't matter. And so, contact me, and I'm very interested in see where this goes because this is awesome. Oh my gosh, Roxy, absolutely. Oh, thank you. And we'll, you know, we'll. Hugh will talk. We can talk to Hugh too. Awesome. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Just a pleasure. Lovely to meet you guys. Thanks for coming, Roxy. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Love Roxy. You guys. Bye, everyone. Roxy. Much Roxy. Bye, Roxy. She's awesome. She hits all these guys are awesome. Sonic says goodbye. <laughs> Bye, <Yes>. Sonic. <laughs> Bye, Sonic. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, oh, Franciszek, do you want to reflect on um, building a community or give us a blessing? All right, he is not picking up. Uh, and your earthling, would you like to speak on that? Yeah. Franciszek, uh, you're next. Hi, my name is Jay. Hi. 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 How are you doing? Yeah, I'm kind of new to this. You know. I've been uh, watching it uh, for about a couple months now, Hukulu, and uh, about building communities. Um, definitely have to say that uh, you just got to be a building. You have to build people. A leader that builds people up. Definitely. Um, I'm personally young, so I don't have too much experience, but <laughs> I'm uh, 24. But um, I've just been interested in communities, and somehow I've just gotten here from it, and uh, just, I don't know, just uh, going towards like a, a community that, I don't know, just you know, bring people up instead of like the fear that we're kind of born with almost. Yep. It's like the normal, and I'm trying to make it in my life you know, love is all. Well, we love you and welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We look forward to hearing more from you. Yes. Yes. And Fantasia, can you speak on building the community or give us a blessing or whatever you like? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, I had a dream to build self-sustaining village, small village. 
and uh, just yesterday it was uh, I was offered by a friend who has a uh, uh, land uh, to do it together <laughs> so <laughs> like a couple of people from California oh. who started uh, a community like that called Sustainable Joy. And Lake they're Tahoe. just on the land, and it's great. Lake Tahoe West Side. Lake Tahoe West Side, right here, JC. Yay. <laughs> nor, 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 Cal, nor Cal and Texas bred, right here. Uh, <laughs> most, of my life, most of my life, Texas and Cali. Uh, in Oregon and Colorado, and also Iowa. So I'm getting around. I'm, I'm almost to the East Coast. But so we're East Coast. I, I came back here. I've been living on the West Coast for 20 years, and I, I end up back here. I end up in the seat of where you know where I was raised. It's just a. Uh... Yes, that's exactly. That's I'm. That's where my journey is going on Sunday. Yeah. Back home. Just back. Yeah, it's 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 a really I'm um, it's so it's it's been so cleansing and so beautiful the the experience with everyone today, um, just. I love these everyone. moments. Do you ever feel like whenever I'm with these guys and like I go home and I I almost it's like coming out of a dream like all of a sudden the mist starts to recede and I'm like oh back to my boring life. I'll tell you something. It was something brought me to Rochester. I'm not from this area, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But every time I came to Rochester, I felt at home, and I didn't understand that until I understand it now because this is where <laughs> I was. Right. I am from here now, right? And this is who I am supposed to be in this minute. So. It's a great thing. And I, I would like to start the exit sequence, which is uh, a series of spontaneous blessings. Uh, Sabrina, be prepared. <laughs> and any, anybody else? Um, I will start with my reflection on building a community. One image which comes to my mind is an image of a garden. And it is a service to a garden. The garden is the goal. You want it to prosper. You build a garden by watering it and by weeding the weeds and by seeding the plants and it has to be everyday job it has to be regular you have to your mind have to come after whatever you travel you come back and you have to do stuff there if you leave it fall apart it will fall apart it will be just uh, I guess not growing at all so and another image she comes is like cooking in the kitchen. You have to have a flour, you have to have sugar, you have to buy supplies, and if you cook too much at once, nobody will eat it, it will be rotten. So you have to feed it like it's like a blog, and you have to feed the blog almost daily. If you have excitement, you can blog ten posts. If you don't have excitement, you you just kind of comment on others. But it takes um, commitment. It takes. Um, Understanding why you do that, I guess that's the main thing. You start from why you do it, and for me, it is a way to help the world and transform the world. I want to transform the whole world. That's why the numbers are important for me. If I'm writing a blog and I know that it's only me who is reading that, I would possibly do it different. So I look at the stats and I look at you know this 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 video was watched by this number of people and people dropped on minute 30 when I started preaching about that. So Next time I will preach differently. That's my, my approach. I guess it's very statistical. All right. And I invite others not to argue about that, but to bless on any topics you like, gardening, cooking. Cooking is wonderful. Cooking is <laughs> everything. It comes so natural, and it is a way of expressing love and create. Best is lentils with curry. Curry and lentils <laughs> is best. And it's very ancient. Curry is um, coriander and fenugreek and turmeric and what's it? Caraway and hot pepper and you have to put greens, lots of well, well chopped onion, tomatoes. Now the season for tomatoes. Don't forget, ripe tomatoes are you know that's that's the time for ripe tomatoes. We'll Don't tea. put it everywhere, and a little bit of curry and hummus everywhere, except tea and coffee. <laughs> All right, I welcome everybody to continue with blessings.
It's yeah. Chef Max with the Human <laughs> Colony <laughs> cooking <laughs> show. Today I'm Human <laughs> Colony. <laughs> <laughs> I love to cook myself. Me and, Max, me and Max will chef it up together. I love cooking. Actually, I like to I like to do the prep stuff. So Max oh, can do all the yeah. cooking. I'll do all the prep. My, my, my suggestion for those. You gotta uh, move it over oh. a little bit, Max. More more towards the girls. In the other, yes, in, in her direction. You gotta move it over. Move it over that way, just a touch. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my, my blessing is okay. that okay. everyone with a garden can t take down your fence between your neighbors so their children can play in your garden and your children can play in their garden. We don't have to disconnect ourselves from our neighbor, become closer to our neighbor. Don't disconnect yourself from your neighbor. I like that. Or, or we yourself. don't have to. Don't disconnect yeah. yourself. E everyone has their fences on to their neighbor's garden, but you don't really have need to have a fence. Continue the blessings, please. Nice. Yeah, that, nice. That's my gab. Okay, I'll, I'll do mine. Time. I'll do mine since I have to go soon. Thank you for sharing with us, all of you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um Skatana Nakuria Katana Nanasia Katu Sarya Katania Kia Tu Watanana Kosia Katuria Kata Tunia Katani Ariaka Tu Skatana Ria Kuturia Kata Tunaria Kata Sia Kata Tunia Orokos Kotono Holo Tu Oso Kotono Kuria katani aka, tonos katati, turu o katu, sakati akotu, koro nari akati, eyo taki atokoti, oni aka, haskatu, ura katana, anana, osakati utu, uti aki ataka, tonaki, koro a, tosokotu, koro a katana katu okotuku, Oskati o kutu uro kutu kutu ora ka eni osoku kuta ka kuta na osata ana katu osoku oro kutu osakati ni eyuku oskata ni o ati osoku. That's the Octarian language. That was, that was beautiful. Thank you. Very good. It's beautiful. Oh. Breathe that in. I don't have to breathe that in. It's like a song. That was yeah. the first word was breath. Yeah. yeah. It was about singing. About song. Song in your heart. And following the song and letting it blow you wherever you let it. Thank you. Anybody else that has something to add? Yes. Good. I would like to. message there was we are community we live community and are reaching out 
for more community actions and activities. We love you, love us, let us connect, let us know that your community accepts our community. We are all one in the spirit of light. Light created us all. Spirit is within us all. And we will remain community reaching out. Namaste. I have something to say. Yes. Go ahead. Namaste. いやかしてやとのすくるわたてやにやかしてこんとにやしてやかたんにやすくるわたたいんにやこととはいやきしきやことはにやかいしきやととは I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> like you guys are I'm like, I'm not crying. I feel like I'm being, yeah. just simply being. I, I, I feel the most explosive expansion, yet it's so comfortable now. It's not, it brings, it brings a calmness to my body. It's not like a cold shiver. It doesn't feel like death anymore. It feels like new life. It feels like, it feels like I am just in Christos Ibarra, the new, and one of the new fractals of Christ. I am going to be the diamond heart of this new world. I will become the heart to our dreams. I will become the ultimate dream for the benefit of man. This is my soul's purpose. And all I need is some water, some food, and a little bit of weed, some music, and some fun. Some people <laughs> to hang around. That's it. Oh, yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty simple. <laughs> Pretty simple. Give me that garden, or, or give me the space for the garden. Franishek said he's got some space. Just let me sit there, and I'll tend to my garden. And me doing that is literally making dreams happen. Just being able to concentrate in that garden and just be the gardener. And, you know, whoever wants to tend it with me, come with me, please. <laughs> Very good, very good. Still, Jim, do you have the translation? Uh, I had a translation for Brian's. Yes. It's something about, I don't have a, the word-by-word -word translation, but to paraphrase what Brian said was that he was living on fragments of light and pulling them together and building his community of full, bright sunlight from nothing. Reunion. A yes. call to a reunion. Yeah, yes, so bringing, yeah, like, bringing all this light together. All right, Bill. And, I am, the first, and I am the first to reach the singularity point. Yes. I'm the first to reach this pure singularity point, and I just need help, um, assistance with staying in my sinju moment all the time for the benefit of man. So, girls, uh, now do the final. Goodbye, and we'll close in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much. Please, let's keep this dialogue going. You're going to see us again. Visit us at the zenzookproject.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. All that fun stuff to keep building community. Um, send us emails. Um, Facebook us and you know, pose your questions and your ideas. And please, it's, it's inclusive. No limits. With love, light, we are all beings of light, and we, we bless you, and we are grateful we to receive you, and we welcome your blessings. And I and wait, so, we, we did this. We did that. We did this. We all did this. Yay! We did this. Thank we, you. We love your spirits, your, we love and your light. Yes, and, we uh, look your forward to many. And your community. It, it's it's many a wonderful time whenever we get together. Yes, it oh. is. And, Whenever we get together with our friends here as well, so this Love is love getting to know you guys. This Thank is you. a community that is expanding. So, Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Thank See you very soon. Much love. Much love. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank bye. you for coming. Goodbye. 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 I will be